All right, what's happening, friends? A few months ago, I reviewed the DB Power battery jump pack. It all fits in this case right here. You, if you've seen the video, I jump started a half ton V8 pickup truck, and this is the battery unit. This is actually what stores inside of here. This is like the the heart of the entire unit right here. This is what supplies the power. It's got a flashlight. So many cool things. Check out that video. I'll put a link at the end of this and down below if you want to see the review of this. I just received the other day another accessory that goes with this. This has basically everything you need except a air compressor. So there's a another unit, another item accessory that goes with it. This is it right here, the DB Power compressor. It plugs in to it. So I'm going to just open it right now. It's pretty small. So it goes it's lightweight so it could probably hang like right from your tire. I did review another battery jump pack probably about a year ago. It's a Stanley one. It's a big heavy unit. That started another truck I had. Another uh, Chevy truck that I have uh, in that one. Uh, but the DB Power did a similar pretty much exact same size truck but it's a Ford. So I'm going to try this out right now for the first time. Let's see if it works. So what you do, this is all that comes with it. So you uh, take the wires out and let's see where you normally plug the um, jumper pack cables in. This is what goes in there and it's actually made so you can't get it the plus and the minus cross. It has like a round and a D-shaped hole. I'll just show you right there. So, I don't know if you can see that in the light. So this end right here, the male end, has the same thing, so... Alright. <laughs> I wasn't sure there was an on-off switch. It was already in the on. So that's all it is right there. Push the green button. Alright. And a flashlight. Alright, let's plug this into a bike first and kind of start out small, work our way up to a bigger tire. Alright, here we go. We've got a mountain bike tire, 26 by 1.95, and as you can see, it's pretty flat. So I'll plug the power in here first. And what's interesting, I'll just walk to the camera a minute. It does show, it's seen the red right there between like 30 and probably like 44 PSI. And the red there is where they gauge like most tires are fine to be at. Sometimes mountain bike tires, or I have like a 10 speed kind of bike, it seems like they require like 65 PSI. So, but for like cars, car tires, trucks, if you're in the red, you're pretty close to being in the range but I recommend checking your tire manufacturer what it says on the tire itself and going with that exact number. So, after all that said now let's go to the bike tire. It screws on actually I can take the plastic there's protective plastic over that so I'll deal with that later. And it just will hang from there and to turn it on, it's plugged in, just push the green button. All right, it went to 50. The tire says between 40 and 65. So 50 seems like a good number. So there's the gauge went right there to 50. All right, in my video, I was planning on going to my trailer to put air in that 15 inch tire but I came across my truck here I don't use it that often and it's been sitting for a little bit it has a 265 70 R17 and it's a pretty good sized tire it's down some air so I'll show you let's see if we can turn this around so we can see the gauge all right so this is all right so you don't have to turn I just looked at this right here there's an on off for that you'd have to turn that on if you want the output to charge like your USB device 
or to turn some other lights on it. But to turn the compressor on, you don't need that on. All you do is plug it in and it's ready to go. So I'm going to time it. We're at about 22 PSI. And I'm going to read the tire thing as I'm pumping it up to see where it needs to be. Probably closer to 40. So let's get started. Alright, we're going on 10 minutes. 35 PSI. And the instructions actually say don't go more than 15 minutes. Don't exceed that with this. I can feel this is quite hot right here. So I just recently did that bike tire in this. So I'm going to, they say to let it rest 15 minutes after it's ran for 15 minutes. So for about 10 minutes of running, we went from, I'm thinking we started around 22 and we got up to 35. So that's pretty decent for right now we'll let it cool and 40 is where I want to go with this okay so here's the last tire I'm going to try out a little air out of it so we're at about 9 psi this is a 15 inch let's see 205 75 15 so let's give this five minutes and see how far we go from 9 psi here we go All right, we're at 28 PSI and it's been five minutes. So as you can see, a normal size tire, this, I you see the flashlight, yeah, it's pretty warm. This is still off the same charge. So imagine if this battery was fully charged, it may have pumped the air a little bit faster to actually get this up to like 35 PSI is where I wanted to go. So I'm gonna uh, finish after I turn the camera off, get the tire filled up all the way. And one other thing I wanted to point out, these two items come with it so there's a ball needle adapter and then a little that adapter for like a pool inflatable type thing video. something really small. I just checked the Amazon price on this $19.99 and I looked at the reviews it has a five star average review which is the top of the mark it's um, very good 126 people I believe somewhere in there they commented on it or reviewed it so that's um, that's a lot of a lot of good credentials right there so I would say you can't go wrong based on the reviews and one thing that I want to mention I tried this in the dark to see how it works as you can see I showed that light works there isn't a backlight on there that would be something I think would make this like the ultimate if you could just put a little backlight when this light turns on it would somehow allow some light in there too but you do get some light that bounces off the tire back where you can actually see the the needle. Um, but most people have cell phones nowadays. I don't know anybody that doesn't carry one where you couldn't put that next to it in a pinch if you're trying to get right to the exact number. So anyways, I've got the 12,000 model uh, DB power pack and it has a, um, a vehicle charger. So if that battery runs low and you're driving, you can top the battery back off if you were feeling, like if you had a lot of tires to to do but I did three tires a truck tire the bike tire and my trailer tire all on the same charge you could hear this run a little bit slower but it seemed to have a fair amount of juice in it so I was quite impressed I think I ran oh, 10, 15 probably about 20 minutes of this off that battery so that's pretty darn awesome I would say so I give it a thumbs up I give it five stars I'd like to hear your thoughts what you think on this would you buy one so Please comment down below, and if this is an informative review, please give me a thumbs up and help support my channel. Thanks for watching, my friends. See you next time. All right, so how long do you think it would take to fill up a tire like this with that compressor? I'm just gonna say it would take some serious patience. All right, if you enjoyed this video, please check out some other ones to the right. The battery jump pack by DB Power, it's on the top. Click on that, down below that is the Stanley Jump Pack. I did that about 10 months ago. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, hit the red button right down below there. And check me out on Twitter and Instagram. All right, that's it. Enjoy your day, my friends. See you next time.